So even though we have grass that doesn't look terrible as far as structure, then what can we really do with black and white grass? So we need to give the grass some material. We need to give it some color, preferably something in the green area. So let's go ahead and add a panel to our 3D viewport, to our interface here. So in order to do that, I'm gonna hover over this right section here and I'm gonna hit right click and I'm gonna click horizontal split. Now, the reason I'm not changing the workspaces because you can do that in Blender, you can use these different workspaces, is that none of them have quite the setup that we're looking for. We're looking for something that's a little bit more simple than all of the other workspaces we have. Um, so we're gonna go to the left corner here and we're gonna change this to shader editor. Now this will allow us to manipulate this will allow us to manipulate the materials using the using Blender's node-based system. So I'm gonna go over here to the materials panel. I'm gonna click on the actual plane that we created to make sure that that's what we're working with. I'm gonna click new here and under the name, I'm gonna change this to grass main and that'll just help us keep track of it as we create new and different things throughout the process of us creating this dynamic grass. So right now, if we look at this, it has this whitish texture here, which is really no real texture, but we did give it this principal BSD app. So if we just wanna see what it looks like when we give it any old color, we click on the base color here, left click on it, and we can just drag this to any green, right? So I so happen to know that the best green for me, let's zoom in so you can see this, right? So I left click on this, I hit hex, this allows me to give it a specific number that I can remember. Otherwise, I have to remember the specific RGB values. And you're perfectly free to change this to any color grass you want. Um, for me, I know that this works the best if I do 0, 5, 7, 200. So 0 and then 5, sorry, 0, F7, 200. And all I have to do is just type that directly in here. And this is the grass that works for me. So just so you can see what that is, it's zero F seven and I want actually 200. I have 7,000 here. So change that to a two, makes it a little bit brighter. And if you want to see what that is in RGB, these are the RGB numbers, 0 0.005 for red, 0 0.168 for green, and then zero for blue. Now, if we hit F12 to give you an idea of what that looks like, it has much better look to it because it looks a lot like grass. But you know what? We're not complete yet because no one's grass looks that vibrant with green. Now, if that's all you want right now, you could stop. You got some good looking grass. You can go about your business and create whatever else you want in the model with almost no modeling. But let's go ahead and make things even more realistic. So we're, what we're gonna do is add a texture to this so that we can give some variation to the grass. So in order to add a texture, the first texture we're going to add is I go to add and under texture, I'm going to pick noise texture, right? And in order to use a noise texture, you need a couple of different things. One thing is you need to be able to tell Blender what part of the texture goes where. So under input, you can go to texture coordinate. Now we're gonna use generated, which is how Blender automatically tells it where to go. So we don't have to do what they call UV unwrapping, which is where we tell Blender where which part of the texture goes where. The next thing we're gonna do is add a mapping node. So the mapping node is under vector and mapping, and this allows us to shift the texture left or right or scale it or rotate it. So we're gonna take generated, we're gonna put that into mapping, we're gonna take the vector, put that into the vector side of the noise texture, we're gonna change the noise texture to 2D because we're only working with a plane and it's only in 2D. And if I wanted to see directly what that looks like, just in black and white, I can hit seven, on the numpad to look at this from above and this is what the texture looks like from above so this is going to allow us to give some variability to what we see in this environment so it's set to be like this we put this in here and it's still black and white so we need to give it color and the way we're going to do that is we're going to add a mix rgb so i'm going to go to a different way this time i'm going to hit shift a while my cursor is over the shader input and i'm going to now insert Click M I sorry type M I X. So this is the way that I prefer to find nodes because knowing what menu it's on can be quite inefficient. So as long as you know what it's called, you can hit Shift A and then you can search and then under search you can just type what you want. Now I can just drop that in place and you see that nothing really changed and that's because it dropped into the color. Now the noise texture we're using we don't want it to actually pick the color directly. We wanted to decide what color goes where. Now in the, X, in the mix RGB node, what's gonna happen is 
some parts of our node will be will be color one and some parts of our texture sorry texture will be color two so if i just change this to black you can see that part of it is black and part of it is kind of gray right and we can make this pure white if we want to but we don't want it to be black and white we want it to be something more like grass so what we're going to do now i'm going to go ahead and hold down control right click and drag to go ahead and cut that wire i'm going to change this first color to green so the easiest way to do that, since we already have that color saved here, is I'm going to hit the color dropper here, drop that over the color we already have and left click. Now I have green here. Now the color that I want here, we're gonna do this the same way. Now you can put whatever color you want by increasing uh, the brightness here and then moving this to, way, to be whatever you like. But I happen to know that what works best for this case, for at least in my opinion, is B8, B8, and then I believe this, let's try C00. Yep, and that gives us a yellow color. So just so you can see what that was, that was B8BC00. If you want to see that in terms of, if you wanted to see that in terms of RB, RGB, that's uh, red is 0.479, G is 0 0.503, and blue is zero. So this is now going to mix those colors. Right, so we have part of this which is green and part of this which is blue. So if we look at our actual grass, actually if we hit F12 to give us an idea of it, we see that now our grass has a lot more yellow in it. Now, this doesn't look bad, but I think this is a little bit too yellow. So what I'm going to do now is show you a way that you can kind of tweak this to be whatever you want. So I'm going to do Shift Add, Shift A, and I'm gonna type in the search, C-O-L-O, -O, and I want color ramp. Now color ramp takes an input and basically maps black and white to it. So if I connect this directly to our material output, you can see that nothing really changes when we go through it. It shows you the same thing it was showing before. But now with these sliders, I can change how much black or how much white there is in our scene, right? Not only can I change how much white or how much black, I can flip these two and now everything is backwards of what it was. What was black is now white and what was white is now black. So I'm gonna reconnect this to the side. And now I can move these shaders and I can increase the amount of green, which is what we want. We want mostly green with little bits of yellow here and there because we don't want necessarily terrible grass. The other thing we're gonna do is change this blend mode to ease just to make it a little bit less abrupt. So now if I hit F12 for render, we see that we have these yellow sections and we have green sections not quite what we're looking for here. So I'm gonna move this to the side to put a little bit more yellow in it. And I'm gonna hit F12, see what it looks like. And you know what? This is still a little bit too stark. So I'm gonna switch it back to the way it was because I think that was probably a little bit better. So that's with the white on the right and the black on the left, I hit F12. And though it is a little bit too yellow, I think that the way it mixes is good. So what we want to do now is change kind of the way the whole thing looks. So we can do that by darkening the right side. So now the whole thing is going to look a little bit greener. And yeah, that looks much better. So now we have sections that are a little bit lighter than the rest of the sections, but it looks a little bit more realistic because we have some variation in that grass color. So if you want to stop here, you do have a realistic grass that looks pretty good, pretty good. But we're gonna make it even better.